and notice a perfectly cut square out from my window screen. Hey guys, hey guys, hey guys, I'm coming in with a new look today. If y'all are curly hair people like me, what the fuck? And the hair don't even be uneven, it's just like curlier that today than any other day. Anyways, if you clicked on today's video, this episode 17 of Zanji does TV. Because this is the background TV for me, like relax, you're yelling. This is episode 17 of Zanji does tea. If this is your first time here, I have a series called Zanji does tea where I sit down, read stories, and give advice. My goal is to have submissions and then read those and provide advice but for now i use reddit and i have made sure that these stories can be used on video okay i don't really um sorry that little piece of hair is about to aggravate me all episode i double check with you know the reddit stories i read because reddit is very picky now about people from youtube taking stories and reading them so i have fact checked everything i don't link the stories because i do still want to keep it private for them you know what I'm saying? But anyways, 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 if you want to submit a story to my actual email, you watch this or you, you've been binge watching my little 17 episodes and you're like, okay, I'm ready. I'm ready to send her or something. You know down below. You can follow me on my other socials too. They're on the screen right here. But today, uh, I'm coming with a little green vibe, a little, am I in my element? Is it giving like this is my color? I'm a Virgo. Do you see me like Virgo? Or no, and I had to force it. The drink. These are my greens. Let's get right into it. Hold on. Okay. All right, guys. Let's get right into the today's episode. But yeah, I always do a little like kikiing before the episode starts. Nothing to say. Nothing to say. I'm proud of myself for sitting down and filming. And I don't know. Comment down below. Do you ever like the white background, or do you like my little plants in the back? Okay, because I work hard to take care of these plants. Don't look at the one right here. She's been going through it. She's been going through it. If you have been watching all of my content so far, you are so loved. I appreciate you so much. And this series is a favorite of mine. Yeah, it's, I think it's one of my favorite. Uh, but if you want to hear more sit down, like motivational stuff, Zanji Does Chat is my other series that I have. It's more like a podcast feel. Uh, I'm going to test this out where I change my thumbnails to a photo of me. Cause ain't nobody trying to click on my videos it's like really just the background of the there's no no visuals it's just audio i'm gonna just try that out but i know y'all really don't care about that right now so if you click on today's video you read the title um i'm reading three stories today and these are all kind of themed i'm trying to be more organized about this these are i'm sorry if you can hear the background like i just like to have a little tv on so that i don't get like it just helps me not get distracted for some reason but anyways guys i'm trying to be more organized about this and today i want to read like really creepy kind of stories it ain't it ain't october at all i'm a sucker for a good creepy story i'm a sucker for a, like what the fuck moment we're reading creepy stories today so sit back relax comment down below join the conversation and let's get started guys let's get started so um the first one is titled please lock your windows hello this happened quite a while ago and i may have known the person personally i'm hoping that this post is still allowed i'm usually just a lurker of reddit and don't really post so i hope i do everything right about 10 years ago now i am 17 oh she was 17 at the time 10 years ago so she's like 27 i think i hope i'm right she had just gone out of a really abusive relationship um if you see me looking over i'm looking at this like my light and it's so stubborn and if it goes out during this video mind your business we're just gonna keep plowing through because i have no backups they're all charging right now <laughs> so she was 17 at the time she had just gone out of a really abusive relationship she won't get into it but it was a bad situation he threatened my life i shrugged it off i'm still not sure if it was the individual who was involved but it would make sense if it was true my father my father is a tradesman and used to store an assortment of ladders besides our home There's like a few rules that I've heard in my life about avoiding creepy situations and having a ladder next to your house or a bat outside is definitely some I've heard like is a big no-no and I ain't trying to shame y'all maybe y'all don't have it but a shed perhaps come on guys a ladder I don't know but a ladder <sighs> 
We lived in a two-story home in a suburban neighborhood. My room used to be on the second floor. One night, shortly after the breakup, I woke up late at night and heard strange noises outside. It was a windy winter night and I live in a place where the winds can get pretty strong, so I didn't think much of it. Just a few nooks and scratches against the house. <gasps> I woke up in the morning and went to open the curtains to let some light into our room and notice a perfectly cut square out from my window screen did y'all hear that bitch shut up because i'm on the second floor right now she has shivers down her spine i always wonder about what would have happened if my window wasn't locked i was paranoid for a long time after that a couple years later i received a phone call from an inmate from prison and they they said my ex's name I did not answer. That was the last I heard from him. Now he still wants you. Mm. The comments say, it was totally your ex at the window. Be careful because those types don't stop ever. Please stay vigilant. Be safe. Is he a stalker? It makes you think why they're incarcerated. Yeah. This is definitely not a story to really like give the person advice to per se, but in general. Is it, is it rule of thumbs? Yeah, rule of thumbs that I've heard. Always keep your car doors locked. I've been in a situation where a door was definitely open and the girls were scrapping. That's all I can say on that. And always lock your car doors. Always have your windows up. People are crazy. Don't trust strangers. Don't trust people, period. People are unhinged. You never know when someone is on the brink of their last moment, like, of going crazy. If you live on the second floor, have... I mean, the first floor, because I used to live in apartments. Always have the first floor. Always have... If you have a sliding screen door, you put, like, a little pole at the bottom. If you have a sliding door, you're supposed to put like a piece of wood, um, the ladder thing, the bat. In your car, always have like self-protection in case you get stranded. First aid kits. It's serious, guys. It's serious. And they say to um, have a sock on your bat so that if you swing it at somebody and they grab it, try to grab it like their hand will slide off because there's a sock on it, which is like, I don't even want to think about that. Let's go to the next one but yeah guys just be just be wary um the jail thing like i would definitely start researching restraining orders just in case because it's given very much like it's been a few years and you're calling me from jail say where you are in minimum please because if it's a potential stalker like you want to avoid that from real early real early but let's go to the second story a stranger in my laundry room these are kind of short i wonder let me see yeah, these are kind of short guys so today might be a short episode which is fine um maybe i'll share a creepy story of mine if i can remember any anything creepy that happens to me i'm just like and i try to forget it a stranger in my laundry room is the second one of the day this event happened about 10 years ago when i was a teenager living at home still one sunday morning my dog started barking and going crazy at the entrance of the laundry room the laundry room is a very small enclosed room without windows one door to enter it from the hallway and one door to the outside for entry slash exit of the house. So anyways, it was a small dark room and without lights all on, you cannot see in it. I waved my dog off dismissively and continued getting ready in the bathroom, which is the very next room to the laundry room. After a few minutes of my dog continuing to bark, I heard a thud in the laundry room. I walked over to investigate the sound when a rough when a <laughs> when a rough looking middle aged man stumbled out of the room I yelled for my dad and he was there promptly it was very apparent that the man was either high or drunk my grandma who lived with us at the time came wandering into the hall saw us all standing around and assumed the shirtless 50 year old man was my guest she actually gave him a hug and introduced herself obviously it turned from creepy to hilarious very quickly but i will never forget that feeling of actually finding a stranger in my house my dad simply walked the stranger out of the front door and then off the property he was compliant but was babbling nonsense the entire time the creepiest thing is that we don't know how long he was hiding in the laundry room and what his real intentions were i have no idea and i would have what i would have done if my dad was not there needless to say we used to never lock that laundry room door and now it's locked at all times <laughs> he said like what are you doing so, so the comments say grandma was hiding her side piece just kidding <laughs> so 
Jacqueline said, no offense, but why wouldn't you lock a room that leads into your room? <laughs> Guys, what the fuck was that? That's crazy. I have nothing to say. What do y'all think? Comment down below. He said hello. Okay, actually, I can't share a story with you guys. It wasn't creepy because it was the middle of the day, and I was with my boyfriend, and it was kind of funny, but it was kind of like, what are you doing? So, there was a 4th of July party, and it was the beginning, so you know, the party's hosted here, so it's like, we're just here chilling, waiting for people to come, and, you know, we're already a few little drinks in, having a good time, you know, chilling, and some man come up. And my boyfriend's Cape Verdean, so, you know, Cape Verdeans, you can tell someone's, not really tell, but, like, when someone looks Caribbean, right? And I don't mean that in an offensive way. And this man comes in, and I'm like, okay, must be a family member I haven't met yet. And my boyfriend jokes all the time, because, you know, the joke is that Cape Verdeans have a lot of family members, a lot of cousins. So he's also thinking, like, who the hell is this guy? Like, have I not met him before? Is he a family member? And he walks in, and he goes, yo like drunk as hell off of whatever who knows what yo what's up what's up i'm like i look at him i'm like he is not he's not a part of this party he's not because people come in and they know they're supposed to look they usually look for the homeowners which would be his parents right like mom and dad and i look at him and he's like that ain't my boyfriend's still adopting him i'm like yo what's good like he's like who are you bro the guy goes what do you mean i'm your boy I'm like, I'm like, oh my god, this boy, he don't, not the trespasser. And he goes, yeah, who are you, bro? Like, what do you mean? He's like, hey bro, it's your, it's your boy Bobby. Like, some shit like that. And I was like, me and him were like, and we're like, Bobby. And my boyfriend immediately goes, yeah, bro, you need to get out of here. You need to get out of here quick. And my boyfriend's dad, I don't know where it comes out. He's like, and he's like, you know, he always got a, like, a stank little face. So he's just like, trying to, like, assess the situation. And the guy was like, oh come on he leaves <laughs> and the way he entered was like through a fence that surrounds the pool so we were all like me and my boyfriend till this day like what the hell was that he said it was his uncle bobby or cousin bobby's like please be for real you got blue eyes like nobody here got blue eyes what are you talking about and <laughs> my boyfriend's dad goes what was that and my boyfriend goes some man trying to i was dying but if it was like nighttime and stuff that would have been you guys know what i mean but that story is so fucking funny like me and him still be like yo we gotta watch out for bobby pull up hey guys let's go to the next one like, I, we never saw that guy again which is so weird we saw him roaming in the streets like two days after that but it's so weird let's wrap this up you guys because i gotta go somewhere but this one is titled there was this creepy guy at a bar years ago my roommate and i were getting drinks at our usual place we sat at the bar sharing a picture and some shots and this creepy guy we had never seen before kept butting into our conversation he kept trying to buy us drinks and talk to us he was really drunk and very pushy we was there for a couple hours and it went on the whole time we ended up leaving early because he kept saying we should come over to his house and when we declined he got weird and started talking to himself fast forward two weeks later this guy is on the news and wanted by the police he met a girl at a bar she left with him and he murdered her wow the comments say i'm so glad we didn't leave with him the same thing happened to me um i was almost abducted by two men i made it away from them and she looked just like me it broke me down and i mean let's end off the episode with saying like as you guys know stranger danger whenever you go out always be careful of your surroundings who's around you who is seeking you who's talking to you um see how they act see how they approach other women when you reject them um have protection always go out in groups don't accept anything from strangers you guys know i hope you guys like today's episode is like a little just a little something if there's topics you want me to talk about let me know i can talk about a lot of things that's all i have for today thank you guys for watching i appreciate every time you watch my episodes i will see you in episode 18 it's gonna be a blast make sure to send me to the email if you're feeling compelled to do so if you still need more convincing my playlists take some time to watch them and um i hope you guys have a great day night evening when you watch this and yeah I'll see you in the next one. Yeah.